Anna and welcome back to Cactus Caffeine where I share with you my hobby of growing cactus, succulents and other desert plants over a cup of coffee which is now almost gone because I've been working for a, quite a while now this afternoon <laughs> but anyway my video today is to give you an update on how my plants are doing under my CX Home grow lights so um back way back in december i received two grow lights from cx home this is one of them this is the 600 watt led grow light and i also have another one inside my house the 75 watt which i am using for my cactus seedlings so first I'll give you an update on how my plants are doing under the CX Home 600 watt grow light. So mostly I have succulents right here like aloes, um, euphorbias, and all other leafy succulents. Though I have a few cactus here and there inserted but all in all I would say my plants have done well under this grow light as you can see i have a jungle here a <laughs> mini jungle here in my uh, garage so i'll give you a close up of the plants so they have grown i placed this grow light here in december and right now it is february so it's these plants have been under this grow light for uh, almost three three months now and they have continued to grow all throughout the winter um, I'm doing the update right now because I am planning to revamp these pots because they have overgrown and I don't like the way they are looking right now in their pot so I would have to do some pruning some repotting but yeah overall i like how my plants responded to the light of course nothing beats sunlight natural sunlight but without these this grow light i wouldn't think the all of these would survive our winter here in las vegas so i am not able to fi fit all these plants in my greenhouse where i have the heater so that's why i have them here in my garage so under this grow light, my succulents were able to maintain their compact look, which is good. That means it is receiving enough light. In fact, it has caused um, Michael and Chloe to form buds and also my Euphorbia milii there. As you can see, the flowers are starting to open. So that developed just under this grow light and so are my aloes my aloes some of these started in my greenhouse but then it started to get too cold and they were turning purple so i placed them in here and now they're turning back to green again which is good so that means they were just getting very cold in my greenhouse so the only thing that i can say against this grow light is that while my plants continue to grow the rosettes are still compact it was not able to bring out the stressed color so that one back there it should have red tips on the edges of the leaves that is an echeveria red tips but it has lost its red tips so it is just green so as uh this one would usually turn pink on its tips but yeah this light wasn't able to bring out those stressed colors so that is the only thing i could say against this light but then again um i did place this grow light a little higher than recommended if i placed my grow light a little lower i could have um had those stress colors that i wanted from the succulents 
but then I had to consider either if I lower this light I would have less coverage area but I went for the more coverage area because as you can see I have a lot under this light so it was a trade-off so I wanted more coverage area because I had more plants so I had the light a little higher but if I lower that light I'm sure maybe I could have gotten that stressed color but I am still happy because look at this aloe despite just being under the grow light and in the garage it still is producing buds see this this is a uh, aloe blue elf oh blue elf aloe yeah i think that's the name of this aloe so as you can see it does formed buds so that is just under this grow light and also this tiger aloe has a flower stalk right there okay so now let me bring you over to the other CX home grow light that I have inside my house okay moving on I am now inside the house in my bedroom and this is where I have the other CX home grow light set up this is a lower wattage it's 75 watts so I have it over my seedlings now if you remember when i did the unboxing of this grow light i had more seedlings laid out on this tray so i think i had both trays almost full and i had this light higher but then after a few weeks i realized that um, i noticed some of my seedlings were growing a little stretched out so i figured my light was too high so then i lowered the light as low as i can as low as this table would go so right now i have it um about i'd say 18 inches on top of my seedlings and since i lowered the light what has been directly underneath it is growing better so some of the seedlings that i had in this tray i had to move them somewhere some went under my blurple grow light right there so i moved some of them back on this table and so these are the only ones that i have left under this grow light so again i was hoping to get more coverage area but then it did not work i didn't want all my seedlings to have a stretched look so i had to contend with this small area so um roughly i got about two by two feet coverage under this 75 watt grow light so these are the seedlings so like i said what has been directly underneath it has been growing very very well i like how they look they are not growing as fast as i want them to because it is winter and it is still cold despite being inside the house this um guys are in like I would say six between 68 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit inside the house so it's enough for them to grow although not as fast so this is Mamillaria bocasana I just love these guys they're so cute like little furry balls but watch out because they already have their hooked spines growing so you they're lovely to look at but don't touch them because they can hook you already so that is um echinopsis that's the one with yellow flowers echinopsis leucomalia cob and some parodias right here this parodias were the ones that were starting to grow stretched a little bit but when i placed the light lower they started uh they started growing more round Okay, and then a few more in here this is um this is the echinocerius albispinus this is, this is the rainbow hedgehog with white spines so yeah so 
I am satisfied with the way this uh, grow light performed. Like I said, as long as you have it a little bit lower and closer to your seedlings, they will grow perfectly fine. You cannot just have a very big coverage area because this is 75 watts. So if you had a more powerful grow light, then you can have a more coverage area. So that's it for my update on both CX home grow lights that I have. Again, I am satisfied with the way they are performing. Nothing beats natural sunlight, of course. But then if you have a very cold winter and you don't have enough sun, the next best, next best thing is to have a grow light inside your house. All right, so that's it, guys. Oh, and this yellow little flags here, those are my sticky traps for those fungus nets. So far, they're doing a, they're doing their job. So that's why I have those yellow flags right there. Okay, so until my next video again, guys. Bye and cheers. Bye.